So after a short delay, the first user-facing Android 11 beta is now available, and we've been digging in to share what we think are the top new user-facing features that don't need to be enabled. So let's dive in. Thanks for watching 95 Google on YouTube. Remember to thumbs up, hit subscribe, and enable notifications with the bell icon to be among the first to watch our upcoming videos. If you watch a ton of videos on your Android phone, then the picture in picture mode is great for watching videos and still being productive. Android 11 Beta 1 now adds the ability to slightly resize floating windows for a better overall viewing experience. The method can be a little bit tricky and you can't resize videos a huge amount, but it is probably enough to make things a little more visible when you're doing other things. The Pixel launcher may be pretty vanilla, but the latest beta update for Android 11 is making that experience a little bit smarter and adding some more customization options. You probably don't move things around your home screen all too much, but if you do drag and drop apps from your dock, then one of the most used applications will now drop into its place. Alongside this, you can also tweak your suggestions to block specific apps within your device settings. There are also new icons within the customization and theming settings, and you may still run a third party launcher, but the Pixel launcher is now getting much needed improvements. A smaller usability change that enhances overall cohesion in Android 11 Beta 1 is the zoom on your wallpaper feature when swiping up into your app drawer or swiping down into the notification shade. Admittedly not a huge change, but one that makes your general experience that bit smoother across the board. Another much needed enhancement for Android is media controls, and we've complained about these for a while, but the Android 11 Beta 1 looks like it's finally addressing the issues. There are a couple of neat new tweaks that I will help you when listening to multiple music apps. You can now toggle a media resumption option within developer options to add a panel to your notification toggles. This persistent panel lets you choose between tracks, scrub within audio, and you can also quickly switch between connected Bluetooth devices or indeed speakers. There is more to this new toggle though, as you can open multiple music apps and then swipe between them from this new notification shade toggle in quick fashion. With this in mind, this media player space just gets better because it contends this potential clutter in Android 11's notification shade. Instead of having two to three notifications for different apps, they're all grouped into a single location. The very last new media enhancement in Android 11 Beta 1 is found on the lock screen. The tweaks are not massive, but you'll see a far more refined playing icon with more prominent skip, play, pause, and reverse toggles. Adding to the recent quick access to Google Cards and Passes feature, Android 11 Beta 1 adds a very simple smart home control center when holding your sleep wake button. This new power menu combines any connected Google Home smart hardware and your Google Pay cards and passes for a neat and tidy one-stop shop. If you have any smart home lighting connected, you can actually adjust these from this panel, making it even easier to control your smart home devices. Google has invested a great deal of time and effort into accessibility features in recent years, all leveraging the power of the Google Assistant, but Android 11 Beta 1 takes it a step further still. Having been around for a while, previously voice access used on-screen numbers in a grid, but now Android 11 can actually read what's on your screen and understand the context and indeed content. As a result, you can say the name of a button, app, or action you want to use instead of reading the number, making it even easier to get full control of your device using just your voice. So those are a few of the most notable features in Android 11 Beta 1. Have you downloaded and installed it on your Pixel? If so, let us know what your favorite new features are down in the comments section below. But until next time, this is Damien with 9to5Google saying thanks for watching, and I will speak to you later.